What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 30 minute sculpted arms and abs workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys? I'm so excited that you're here today for our 30 minute arms and abs workout. I'm going to keep you moving the whole workout. You're going to get a great arm burn focusing on the biceps, triceps, and shoulders, and then mixing in abs with that. I promise this next 30 minutes we're going to push each other and you're going to leave feeling so proud that you showed up. So make sure you're ready. Water and a sweat towel, of course. Make sure that's around you. And then, as far as my dumbbells, I'm gonna go anywhere from my five pound dumbbells up to probably my 25 or 30 pound dumbbells. Heaviest move will be an Arnold press or a tricep skull crusher, so laying down flat, extending, and then the lightest move will be for either your abs, if you wanna use it for that, or a straight arm kind of shoulder rotation, okay? So that's where I'll bump down into the five pounds. So just grab some weights that challenge you in those two areas. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. And let's start crossing our arms in two, one, let's go. There you go. Nice big open. Always just somehow move into bobbing left to right. You don't have to do that, but if you want, you can join me. Four, three, two, one. Big backward circles. We've got 30 second work periods today. And forward. Good job. 15 seconds rest, three rounds per exercise. Four, three, two, and one. Let's move down to the core and the hips going forward and back. There you go. Big reach forward, opening up your hip flexors here. Taking it back to stretch your hamstrings to make sure your low back is nice and ready for this one. Three, two, and one. Now let's take it in some circles, hip circles. So let's go clockwise or whatever is opposite of what I'm doing right now. Take it in circles, <laughs> I'll tell you when to switch directions. I can do the mirror images on the left or right, but clockwise, I'm going counterclockwise right now. Switch directions. Now I'm going clockwise. <laughs> there you go. Four, three, two, and one. Pull your fingers back. Let's get a good forearm stretch in. And switch, big pull. And you can practice with bending and straightening your elbows, seeing what feels good to you, what gets really into these forearm muscles. Good, other side. Good, roll your wrists in to out, in, out, in, out. Four, three, two, switch directions. There you go, we're gonna go straight sets today, okay? So three rounds of an exercise that is all upper body and then we'll move down to your core, okay? First exercise, haven't done it in a while, Arnold press, okay? So starting here, going up and around. I'm using my 15s. Let's start together in three, two, one. Right here at your face. Fully extend overhead. Good job. Coming right to the forehead. And we've got three rounds, so I'm gonna challenge you to either move with more intensity or slow that tempo down and get more time under tension or increase your weights. Five, three, two, one, great job. 15 seconds rest, we do that two more times. Okay, here we go. Seven, six, three, right here. Two, one, let's go. And you can tell you're gonna be using your core on this one too, when you come back down, so you don't let yourself collapse. Okay, keep that core involved. 15. Good, feeling those shoulders start to burn. Seven, four, three, two, one. 
Good, you've got one more round. If you can go heavier, let's go. I'm gonna try and go up one more time. Okay, 30 seconds. You've got 30 seconds here. One last round. Two, one, let's go. Good. 15, come on. Seven, six, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, beautiful job. And let's move down to your core, all right? Shake your arms out. Just using the core now, we've got leg raises. So if you wanna use your towel for a little back cushion, that's okay. All right, you can also place a pillow or double up your mat here to feel a little bit of tailbone cushion, okay? Whatever you need. All right, modification is going to be over there for all the ab exercises. If not, if you're ready to go without the modification, two legs. Okay, you can also put your hands under your tailbone to help that out a little bit, but I do suggest keeping this little crunch. Ready? Two, one, let's do it. How do you make this tougher? Don't rest so long with your legs straight over your hips. Keep it out here. Okay, you can even extend your arms. That'll make it tougher too. Seven, six. And rest, good. Whew. Two more rounds. Big deep breath. Same thing, you wanna keep your tailbone glued to the floor, right here. Start here, okay, tailbone down. Two, one, let's go. Good. Three rounds of 30, this is round number two. Twelve. Six. Three, two, one, rest. Ah, one more time through. Good work, keep that tension. Remember to make it tougher, stay out there. You need to dial it back, one leg at a time. In four, three, ready, two, one, let's go. Almost there, 15. Seven, six, three, two, one. Rest and grab water. You can come on up, we've got lateral raises. Okay, back to some shoulder work. All right, you know this one. We'll go in 15 seconds, right here. Teeter totter, up, down, up, down. I'm gonna use my tens. Okay, give me a little bend in your elbow. We go here in three, two, one. Come on, out, out. Lead up with your wrist. Good, keep that tension. One dumbbell is moving at all times. 15, come on. Come on, you should be moving with intensity. Lift, lift. Six, five, three, two, one, rest. Good job. Whew. Here we go. If you want little circles here to keep that blood flowing, keep your shoulders working, we go again in five, three, two, one. Let's lift and switch. Think of leading your wrist up to the ceiling, the top of your wrist. Don't
Don't shrug your shoulders, keep them down. 13. Eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Rest. Here we go. Circle it until we're back. 15 seconds rest. Good job. Five, four, three. Grab your weights. Two, one. Let's go. Beautiful. Breathe. Every rep is a exhale. 15. Good. 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rest. Good job. Now I want you to keep one of those dumbbells. You've got split leg toe touches. So we're down on the ground again. Okay. <sighs> Lifting it up. You're gonna go split, crunch, down, switch. So as you lower, you switch legs. If you can hover both of them, that's fine. If you need to keep one down, that's also fine. You're just crunching to one leg. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Up, switch. Good, something to think about. Try and make sure you're not just lifting your shoulders up and down, okay? If you watch my shoulders here, technically the dumbbell is moving higher, but my core is not lifting. So try to keep your shoulders locked in. Lift your shoulder blades off the ground. And rest, good. So if you look over at me really quick, watch the difference in this and this. Okay, I want your shoulder blades to come up. I want your torso to lift, not just reach a little bit here. Two, one, let's go. And I find I do that sometimes when I get tired. I'll just try to reach with my shoulders instead of moving that core. Fifteen. Six, two, one, rest. Beautiful, one more time. Keep the shoulders right beside your rib cage. Okay, so no lifting away. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, come on, up. Keep it up, come on. 10, nine. Two, one, rest. Oh, my burn. Okay, grab some water and we're gonna go for tricep overhead extension skull crushers. We're laying flat on the floor. Okay, so I'm gonna take a 25 pound dumbbell. Okay, I'm gonna start with my elbows on the floor here. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do, straighten my elbows. Then slant back, bend. Okay, so elbows tap, up, bend, up. All right, let's start here in eight seconds. We got three rounds of 30. Okay, extend your arms fully before you push that dumbbell back. Two, one, press up straight. Slant, bend, straighten, back down. And your elbows are going right down beside your ribs. Good job. 10. Two, one, rest, good. Now if you can, let's go up and wait. Okay, you can add, you can do two dumbbells. You can add weight to your one dumbbell, or you can just make it all the way through this 30 without stopping. Whatever it looks like to step it up for you. 
Ready? Let's go. Round two. Exhale, shift, bend. Five, three, two, one, rest. Good. Can you go up one more time? I'm gonna try it. One more round. All right, five seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's do it. Good job, come on. Push, push, push. 14. Eight. Three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful. Grab some water. We're moving right along. We've got straight arm sit-ups. Okay, you have the option to go without a dumbbell, of course. All right, but I want you to start up top. Biceps are beside your ears. Okay, you're gonna roll, tap your low back, so I'm not all the way down, and then shoot your head back through your arms as you sit up. Okay, you can modify this by going all the way down and coming all the way up, but I want you to try. Tap, straighten. Okay, 10 seconds and we're gonna go together. I'm gonna start with my 25. Okay, try it. Try the weight that challenges you. Start up top, two, one, let's go. Tailbone down, exhale. Beautiful, come on, work it. Almost there, five, three, two, one, rest, good. Two more rounds of that. Can you go heavier? Can you maybe try to not lay all the way back? Can you speed that up a little bit? Two, one, show me right here, let's go. Breathe out. As you come up, always just think ribs back over top of my hips. Ten. Four. Three, two, and rest. All right, time to go up if you can. One last round. Here we go. Big deep breath. Let's go. Four, three, two. All right, tap it down. Come on, think of those ab muscles. They're fighting hard to get stronger. Ten. Five, two, one, rest. <laughs> Beautiful job. Grab some water and we're gonna keep on moving. You've gotta punch up and punch out. Okay, so this one's gonna be a quicker tempo. Okay, this is where I'm gonna pull my five pound dumbbells out. Whew. Okay, so you've got to punch up, punch out. 15 seconds on the left, 15 seconds on the right. Looks like this. Up, out, up, out. Okay, 15 here, then you switch it over. Up, out, okay? Let's go in five. Light dumbbells or body weight. Three, two, one, up, out. Six, five, switch it over. Three, two, one, let's go. Six, 
seven, four, three, two, one. Good. Stay right here. Up and out in your rest. Just keep them moving. Good. Five seconds. We start back punching that left arm. Three, two, one. Left arm. Go, go. Good. Seven seconds. And you switch. Four, three, two, one. Switch arms. Go. Hold it right here. Other arm is blocking right here. Four, three, two, one. Slow up, slow out. One last round. Seven, six, five. Come on, left arm. Four, get ready. Three, come on. Two, one, go, go. Pull the core in whenever you're punching. Make sure you're not just rolling. Three, two, one, switch. Five, come on, four, three, two, one, rest, ouch. That was a burner. Great job, shoulders are rocking, and we've got a double arm and single leg canoe crunch, okay? Water if you need it. All right, so I'm gonna take my two 10 pound dumbbells here. Now you're gonna notice at the end of the workout here, yes, we're pretty much using arms and abs on every single one here at the end, okay? So, whew, you've got one leg that's coming in to crunch up to your two arms. They're going back and up. They're going back, tap, and they're coming back up. If you can hover this leg, fine. Okay, but don't push it. If you're floating that leg and your back is arching up, you don't need to float that leg. Okay? Grab your weights. Let's go in three, two, one. Come on. Nine, eight, four, and rest. Okay, I couldn't talk during that one, but we got two more rounds. You're doing great. That's a tough one. Come on, get those dumbbells back up. Ready? Three, two, one, and we're out. Good, keep breathing, 15. Four, two, one, rest. Oh, one more time through. I'm gonna be stubborn and stay right here. Not that I'm not being smart. I know it would be easier to go down though, is what I'm saying. I'm gonna fight my way through it. Ready? Last round. Come on, fight with me. Two, one, let's go. Keep going. Last half. Seven. Three. Two, one, oh boy, rest. <laughs> Good work. Okay, come on up, breathe. Shake your arms out. We have a bicep curl hinge pulse. Okay, hinge is gonna be slightly bending the hips. Supinated grip, so your palms are open right here. Okay, so you notice I'm never really 
straightening my arms. That's the point of this one. You have the range of motion to just keep them bent and pulling. I'm gonna start with my tens. I'm gonna breathe as well. Let's go in 10 seconds, okay? Open your arms up. Let's go. Five, four, right here. Three, two, one. Pull, open. Pull. Good, don't rest at the bottom or the top. Good, 15 more seconds. Drop your shoulders, make sure you're not pulling here. Keep them down. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest your hands. Good. Shake them out. 10, nine, you're almost there. This move and two more. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Fifteen, good job, stay with me. Nine. There the legs go. Start getting uncomfortable and the legs start moving. Three, two, one. One more time through. If you can go up, let's go. I'm gonna stay right here. I know in order to maintain form, I need to stay here. So do what pushes you. I'm gonna go at a high intensity. My work effort is at 100. You two. Okay, let's go. Come on. Keep the wrist strong. 15. Ten. Nine. Six. Four. Three. Two. One. Rest and drop those dumbbells down. Oh. Beautiful job. Come on back. We're going slow jackknives. I'm gonna grab my fives again. Optional dumbbells. Okay, nice and slow. Okay, so you're coming up here. One, switch in midair. Two, three. So I'm going hand to my calf, okay? If you need to modify, one heel stays on the ground. Ready, two, one, let's go. Crunch up to reach opposite shin. Switch. And you notice you're staying crunched. If you're not able to be on your back, this is a great opportunity to do a bird dog. Hands and knees, extend the opposite arm and leg. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, let's rest for ten seconds right here. And we'll go back. Ready? Five, three, two, one. Crunch up. Let's go. Keep breathing. Fifteen. Seven. Two, one, rest, and you rest for 10 seconds. Whew. One more time. Ready, let's go, four, three, two, one. Come on, we're up and up. Almost there, come on. Seven, two, one, and rest. All right, I'm gonna take my eight pound dumbbells. I mentioned to you in the beginning, we have a supinated to pronated kind of bicep shoulder extension. So you're starting here 
Elbows at your hips, open, tap. Right here, 45 seconds straight, that's it. Ready? Grab those dumbbells, as soon as you've got them. Elbows in, four, three, two, palms face the ceiling. Punch out, turn, tap. Keep rotating. Don't lift your shoulders, it should not be here. You're here. Breathe, good work. This is it, come on. We've got 15 seconds. Stay with me, come on. Finish strong, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, and drop your dumbbells down. And you've made it to your cool down. Let's open and cross your arms. Big, deep breath. You've made it, guys. I know your arms are feeling swole right now. They're hot to the touch, right? Me too. Pull your fingertips back. Just breathe. I'm so proud of you for crushing this third week of the Accelerate program. We've got one more week to go, so now is the time to dial in. Now is the time to jump all in. All your effort, all your dedication, get things together today that are gonna set you up for a great week ahead. Okay, big deep breath in, reach up, pull and pull. And that's it, today is your day. Set yourself up for an incredible day today by doing just two things. Okay, get some meals ready, get your water bottle out. Whatever it might be for you, take your hands behind your back Push on your tailbone, open up those hips. <sighs> Whatever it is for you, right after this, set yourself up for a good day today, or if you're ending your day today, set yourself up for a good day starting tomorrow, okay? Big deep breath in. <sighs> and I want you to comment below what you thought was the toughest move today, I'm interested to see if it's the same one that I'm thinking. So comment below, let me know what you thought of the toughest move today. And before you head out, don't forget, stretch tomorrow. Not an option, it is mandatory for your best life, your best healthy body. And before you head out, give the video a thumbs up to lock it in that you crushed it, and subscribe to the channel, it means so much to me. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye guys.